with Dr. Paul Brooks, the founder of Layer 10 Advisory, which is an independent consultancy practice specialising in telecommunication strategy, network architect, texture and product design. Paul is also a director and foundation member of the Internet Society in Australia, the local chapter of the Global Internet Society that governs internet standards and policy. He is a speaker in our Switched On Armadale series, so welcome to Armadale, Paul. Oh, thank you very much, Chris. Earlier this year, the internet ran out of new IP addresses. The internet is full. In your keynote this morning at our digital enterprise program, you discussed this potential dilemma. So what does this really mean, and will the internet stop working? Well, the internet won't stop working. Everybody that is connect currently connected to the internet will still be able to connect to the internet. Uh, what it means is that we've run out of the old, the old form of addresses, and so the internet cannot grow effectively and still keep performing the way it is now. It's not so much a problem for Australian ISPs who, who generally have enough of a pool of addresses to, to keep working. It's more of a problem for the emerging economies in the world, people like China and India and Pakistan, a lot of the Asia-Pacific countries in particular, who now, now cannot get any more of the old-style addresses to enable their new service providers to, uh, to grow. Uh, what it means is that uh, to keep the internet growing, we need to introduce a new set of addressing scheme, a, a completely new protocol, a new language if you like. Uh, and we're trying to transition, have been trying for the last 10, 15 years, to move the internet computers across so they talk both languages at the same time, both the old, the old language, which we run out of addresses for, and the new language where we have enough addresses to, uh, to keep going for, uh, for many hundreds if not thousands of years. Right. So what new capabilities does this new version of the internet bring? What the, the main capability, I guess, is, is more the performance things that uh, uh, that we're hitting with the old addressing scheme, where the internet will gradually, if we didn't do anything, the internet would actually get worse and worse and worse in terms of performance. It's not so much a new capability, although there are some uh, some aspects uh, that are more useful for ISPs hidden behind the scenes more than the users will see. But what it means is we we able to keep the internet running with the performance that people will expect. Right. So, as a user, will we notice any major difference? If the internet engineers have done their job right, the users won't notice anything at all. Uh, if we muck it up, then you might notice some performance problems. Okay. But what it means is that you'll be able to expand businesses, expand the population base, that the, we can move the internet away from people, not so much away from people, but add internet capabilities to a lot more devices. Move on to what we're calling the Internet of Things, where every light switch, every fridge, every light bulb has a sensor. The sensor needs to be addressed to, to look at temperature, where air conditioners can be addressed so that people can turn them on and off remotely, where the uh, every appliance, every your, your couch can have sensors to detect when you're sitting in them in the way that your car seat currently does to determine whether you need to put your seatbelt on or not. These sort of capabilities require many more things to have an internet address and that's what we couldn't do with the old system right. when the addresses ran out. Yeah. Oh, exciting stuff. So Paul, with all our experts that come through Armadale, we ask them if they've got a message for Armadale business. Do sure. you have one for us? Absolutely. I guess the, the, the main thing is to understand that this transition is happening and while you might not need to do much to your equipment to be able to use this new language, you need to be aware that a portion of your customer base may not be able to talk to you unless you've made that transition. If you're doing uh, internet e-commerce, if you're selling stuff to the world and you're doing that off a website which only talks the old language, then over time you'll be cutting yourself off from a portion of your potential customers who can only talk the new version of the language. So you need to be talking with your, your IT people, with your e-commerce people to make sure that your infrastructure, your website, your selling systems, your payment systems are all compatible with the new method as well as the, the new internet, as well as the old internet, to make sure that you can continue to do business with the wider range of customers as possible. Sure. Fantastic. Paul Brooks, thanks for your time. Thanks, Liz.